Hey, ya uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of WoW vs. DDO. And in the last episode, we did our, uh, technically it's our second instance, but we did our first instance where we weren't with any NPCs and stuff. We were just running it all alone. And we got a couple quests. We got this one, which now has a green arrow above him. And we got this one over here, which has a green arrow above him. I believe he was the one that wanted us to uh, go bind our spirit. So we need to go up here to the tavern. And we're going to find a spirit binder and make it so when we die, we come here. Um, which is kind of nice if we die out in the world and stuff. So as you can see, we have a spirit binder. I believe uh, most taverns have spirit binders don't quote me on that but i believe so uh let's go ahead and talk to him and say if i fall in battle can you bring me back and he says yes i want to resurrect here and boom there we go uh let's just look around real quick see if there's anyone of interest in here scrimmager scrimmager you can also buy hirelings and stuff like that um in in certain places usually i think uh these are those places you'll see he has a quest but it's not available to us nor is that one and once again the coins mean that you can sell trade repair and that fun stuff so we're gonna go ahead and leave the the tavern here as we've done that quest I'm trying to remember if that was actually a quest it wasn't his and it wasn't his I think it was just what this guy up here was telling us to do he wasn't actually giving it as a quest cause it's kind of a silly quest uh, so this guy over here I believe wanted us to go look into the storehouse which I think is that building right there if we mouse over the door I believe no we have to get close uh, we can see that this is the storehouse so if we go in here we can see what our next one is once again we can choose to solo it well we have to solo it because we're alone uh, but uh, if we weren't soloing it we could actually have our, our little dudes with us so let's go ahead and enter and it looks like we get some weird looking rats dust and mold fill this ill-maintained storehouse you can hear the telltale skittering of vermin nearby. I'm not seeing them though. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's not a vermin. Oh, that's a vermin. Keep an eye on your red hit points. We lost one hit point. I mean, come on. One thing actually we might want to do, actually we haven't got any health potions yet, have we? No. Uh, we probably will want to put a health potion like in slot zero so I can hit hit uh, zero. One thing you also might notice is I switched everything that was in the first bar down to the second bar because I can just click it uh, and move these so that I have them easily accessed using the num keys. So, um... I I believe there is a way to make it so that you can actually use the num keys down here too like you hit something to switch it I don't know what it is um, I'm gonna have to tonight I or well uh, usually Monday evenings uh, I play DDO with uh, my friends and I'm gonna ask them how on earth you do that and then I will share that information with you so it looks like we have a door. Usually my way of doing dungeon crawls is I like to try and make sure Ooh, another hundred arrows. I like to make sure that the entire room where I'm at is is secure before I go into any door. And then I will choose, you know, kind of a door and kind of work like if I started here I would go clockwise around which I think that's what we're going to do except this might be locked so uh, I don't think we're doing that <laughs> so let's go through door number two I got another rat 
This sword seems to be pretty good against rats. I knew I missed one. Nothing in there, though. Alright, so, um... Yeah, we got another door up there, so we can kind of start doing these guys. See if we can get any good stuff. It's not looking like it yet. Oh, there's Cure Light Wounds. That's a good one. Some copper pieces. More copper pieces. And nothing. Alright, let's go up inside this door now. And it looks like we got another spider. This appears to be the main storeroom. It seems the villagers have been preparing for a protracted And another siege. spider. Oh, got another bite on us. That's okay. I think we're okay. Alright. Another light wounds. That's definitely going to be something that we might want on our bar really soon here. Looks like we got another door over there. That sound that we just heard, the kind of thing, uh, that is what you get for breaking lots and lots of these uh, destructibles. Oh, there's one more over here. And one more over here. All right. Oh, one more over here. A large silver sarhagen emerges from a hidden passage demanding the key. Oh, right here. Let the scrolls fall into hands. So when we open that chest there and got this key, it looks like uh, we somehow inadvertently got a secret passage open here. He is doing some damage to us, but we're okay. All right, let's go ahead and go inventory, and we got two of these bad boys. I'm going to put them in the last tab. Put them maybe down here and definitely lock those. And then I'm going to drag it and put it on zero. Wait, oh, that's where we came up. Uh, let's go down here and see what's down here real quick. Uh, go ahead and close that. Ooh, a chest. We like a chest. What is this thing? Dragon head thing? <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and open the chest. Here we get a robe. So I don't know that we necessarily want that. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to hit this. I'm not sure. This is actually armor that we're wearing. It's light armor. Uh, this is death block. Equips two armor. Race absolutely excluded warforged. So looking at it, where this item is immune to all death spells and magical death effects. Plus three armor, armor bonus plus eight. I don't think this is better than what we got. It's going to sell for something. That's good. Wow, look at the arrows we've already spent. Uh, let's go ahead and lock these ones so we don't sell those on accident. There's the key. All right, so let's... Head on back. Now my guess, I haven't done this dungeon, but my guess is this key opens that first door we were in. And who knows what's down here. A rat and a spider. Dude, and I can't get him either. Stab! Alright, um, how much do these things do? Uh, three to eight. I think we'll go ahead and take one. Alright, that was a good one. Let's go ahead and break this. I don't see anything else in here. It looks like... Ooh, another potion. That's actually good. 
Uh, yep, base. Copper. Very good. And I think that's everything. This almost feels like we have did us. Yeah, we've been in this room here. So on the other side of this should be the, yep, there's the door. So let's go ahead and see what is in here. Someone in a bubble or the something. Door swings open, revealing a magical sphere around the scroll. It appears that the floor in this room can be moved and rotated. Not until I've broken everything before. I'm not. I'm not doing things to maybe trigger bad guys to come. All right. Looks like just a lot of pieces. All right. So this is a puzzle. And what you need to do is light up each of these corner things. So sometimes, I'm not sure if this one will do it, but I've done them in other instances where um, if you light up all of them but one or something or you do it wrong, you do get penalized where a mobs all of a sudden appear. Let's see that can't be that way because there's no connection there uh, this one looks like it probably goes there because that's straight so if we do that and that so that lights up that this one will light up this guy all the way to there this one that will be the triggering piece so that will light up here here then this one right here and are we lighting up this one yet no so I don't know that there's a way we could actually just light the whole thing up unless I went like I wonder if it matters because this one we definitely want to go like this well I guess we fight if anything comes we fight it that should light them all up the protective spell dissipates all that remains now is to take and deliver the scroll okay is that the door we came in yeah it is alright we did it so this is, now there are some WoW instances or dungeons that have kind of puzzles. Not quite like this. I do like, I do like this. I, I do like traps um, and the disarming of traps. One thing I like more in WoW than uh, DDO as far as the rogue goes is the ability to stealth and actually be invisible and sneak up on enemies pick their pockets and stuff like that which I don't think I've actually done yet in the videos I've recorded um, but those are some of the things I like so as I was saying we could either come here to the gate and exit here to get out or we could always click that recall button and finish out so now that we've done this we can come back where are we over here and you'll see now we have the complete quest over here did pretty good let's go ahead and talk to this guy and say I did it and he's gonna say okay you can have a rugged belt uh, looks like they're all belts so let's see what we have reflex saves that's pretty good uh, resistance to fortitude saves or maximum health I think I would like, hold on just one second, I think I would like the reflex saves. Thank you very much. 
go ahead and put that on. I should probably mark it as do not sell. Probably mark that as do not sell as well. I think that's good. So as you can see, once again, repeatable quest. We don't want to necessarily repeat it. Uh, we're going to go over this guy because we don't have to go inside the inn. He's really easy to reach. So let's go here. Uh, say that I want to sell. And, oh, not where else. Darn it. Oh, well. So first thing we're going to do is repair our sword. Add all. Repair. We're going to sell all gems. And then we're going to go ahead and sell this cloth thing that we had. And sell that. Alrighty, check that action out. Um, then our next guy wanted us to go down below. And we're going to do that one. Your legs are in the ground, dude. Uh, we're going to go down there where he wanted us to do that. We're now three bubbles full. We're working on our fourth one. So this guy, can I not really get past you? Wants us, I believe it was to go in here. So let's go ahead and go in here, go in on normal. We need to stop a cult apparently. Oh, interesting. We haven't seen any collectibles yet though. It lies hidden. Could it be behind the painting? Landscape of Corthus Villa hangs on the wall. Look at the painting. Uh, without the ice dragon, there's likely. Walk away. Oh, I was thinking it was going to do something else. Uh, so let's hit the lever. Oh, this is a pretty small... You can feel the life-saving heat emanating from the magic crystal Baldar spoke of. Oh, I remember this but one. From the shadows approach those who would doom Korthos by destroying it. We have to protect this crystal. Those quests are definitely in WoW, where you have to protect things. Do I click on it or something? Oh, nope, he's right here. <laughs> that startled me. Do, 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 do. So we have 14 cultists left. We have an invisible guy over here. All right. Who's next? Bring it on here, guy. Here's a guy. Here's a guy. Holy cow, there's a lot of guys. They're no match for my sword. No, nope, you too, homie. Alright, we are getting a bit on the hurt side. There's a guy that's down there coming up. Uh, let's take just a moment. Drink a potion. Alright, five left. Oh, I thought I saw that shadow right there made me think it was a guy. Where are they at? Here he comes. I thought it was the magic. Oh, it is a magic guy. There's another guy down there. Wait, where'd that guy come from? Alright, looks like we got one left. This will probably be the tough one. We're good health wise. There he is. He's not that tough, is he? You are not that tough. Thus protecting the Kaneth crystal and saving Korthos. We did it! We saved Korthos! There's no chest or anything? No, no anything? There's maybe there's a secret. Let's let's do our search. Nothing over here. 
this seems like a, a good play. Well, it's got something in front of it. Maybe it wouldn't do it there. Nothing over here. Maybe back here. This this could be a spot. Usually they're on flat walls, and this isn't very flat. So, yeah, I guess that was it. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish out. And recall back. Let's see. So we're at four bubbles down there and almost halfway on our blue line, which means we get to level up to level two. And now we can go find this guy right here sitting down, being bored. And we'll say it's safe. And he is giving us some bracers. Nice. Uh, so attaches to wrist. Axe block reduces physical damage taken by four except bludgeoning piercing weapons. That's eh. of assistance. Uh, target aid. Finds the character on acquire. Target friendly s friend or self. Three minute school enchantment resistance. No. Adds pl eight plus one per caster level. I'm not a caster. Uh, temporary hit points and grants a morale bonus on attack rolls. I don't. I'm kind of surprised that doesn't have the little red thing on it because I'm not a caster unless this. And it does say it's option for Lindy Stormfeather. I don't know. Uh, spear block reduces physical damage taken by four except on bludgeoning slashing weapons. So. This is physical damage except by bludgeoning and piercing. This one is bludgeoning slashing. I guess we'll just do Axe Bane. Hero. Yeah. on the people's lips as you walk by. Hero. Cautious looks have become friendly nods. Then word comes that your presence is requested in the tavern. Your presence. That's probably those other two quests. And I think we'll go to the tavern. And I think, uh, well, oh, whoops, Tavern's right here. Uh, I think that uh, that will be a great stopping point for this area. So let's, I just wanted to quickly go put these on. Let's lock them real quick and then put them on and go in the tavern. Hoorah! So, yep, sure enough, he has a quest. That quest is still locked. In the next episode, we will go ahead and do the barkeep's quest. Wait, he's not the barkeep. Well, kind of looks like the barkeep. There's the bartender, but he's he's the barkeep. And maybe unlock that one, I guess. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And that's it. I... I I always have to catch myself on saying, don't forget about the great big game giveaway. It's done. It's over. We did it. Um, but feel free to tell all your friends, neighbors, enemies, family, whatever. Tell them about my channel. If they like it, they can check it out. And if they like it, then they can sub, of course. And that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.